Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. And uh, on today's episode, we're gonna be uh, trying to make a center console for the 66 Mustang. So stick around if you'd like to see how we did it. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is what I'm using for my uh, center console right here to hold my drinks, which it's not really that great, but it, it does get the job done. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is, um, to dive into this right here, we're gonna be getting some cardboard, and I'm gonna be cutting it out in the, in the shape that I want it to be in a little bit right here. Uh, I'm gonna try and start it right behind these seats right here, uh, and then I'm gonna run it up underneath the dash uh, and have it kind of angle up uh, to the dash right up there. So uh, we'll go on ahead, we'll get the cardboard and uh, we'll start cutting it out and uh, see what we can come up with. All right guys, uh, so before I bring the cardboard in here and try and start cutting it out and shaping it and everything, uh, first thing that I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure and uh, see how long it is from up underneath the dash where the dash ends underneath right here uh, to back to however far I want it right here. So I'm just gonna kind of take a look and see and then from there I can cut the cardboard ahead of time to that length uh, and then that way I can just kind of work on like shaping it and doing how we want it right here. Uh, so if we come up underneath the dash right here and bring this back, let's see, here we go, let's put it back to the dash. So about 40 inches I think should be pretty good. Uh, 40 inches will put us towards the back of the seat, not all the way in the back, but it does give some space uh, between the console and the back seat still, uh, maybe like six or eight inches, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna try that, see how it goes. I can always slide it up a little bit if it's not where I want it exactly, or we can trim down the cardboard template first. Uh, but we'll try that and we'll see how it works and uh, go from there. So now that I have the cardboard cut down to 40 inches, uh, I'm gonna measure from the dash underneath right here down to about right here to see how, how uh, tall I'm gonna need that front section to be. All right, looks like it's gonna be about nine inches or so. So for this part in front of the dash where, uh, where it comes down, instead of having it come straight down, I'm gonna kinda of angle it maybe at like a 45 or something like that right there. Uh, that way it can come down and stop right there. And then I'm gonna flatten it out and bring, bring the console flat right here. I wanna try and keep uh, my, booth, my shift boot exposed right here. I wanna try and keep my shift boot exposed right here. Um, so I might go with a bigger boot that'll bring it up a little bit more uh, so you can see more of the boot um, through the console right here. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how I wanna do that right there. I'm not too sure how, how high or how low I wanna get that uh, right there with the console. Uh, and then we'll, we'll bring it back and then we'll kinda of start going back up for the armrest uh, in the back right here. All right guys, so uh, after putting this in here, cutting it down into that nine inches, I think I might go one inch shorter because as you can see, it's still kind of hitting the uh, the top of the dash right up there. Uh, so I'm gonna trim it down one more inch and, we'll, and then we'll see what we're, we're working with here. All right, guys. So we have a much better fit right here after trimming out that little bit uh, from the from the underneath of the uh, where it goes underneath the dash right there. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think we'll just leave that right there. Uh, now I'm gonna take my uh, sharpie and I'm gonna start drawing kind of where I want this to go, and then I can start cutting that out and see how it turns out right there. Right now from the back of the center console to where it's gonna start dropping down, I'm thinking either 12 or 14 inches. Uh, so I'm gonna draw it out and kind of see what I think about it right here. I'll bring it back a little bit and drop it down. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not. So I have my line coming down from the front right up here. So I have my line coming down from up front, then I have it straightening out, and then I have it coming down right here. 
Uh, I think honestly what I'll do is I'll just measure up from this bottom point right up here on the front. I'll measure up and then I'll just transfer that line straight over to here and uh, trace it out like that. All right, so let's get this set in here and see how it uh, see how it works right here. I'd say that uh, that works out pretty good, guys. That's about kind of how I want it in here. Uh, it's pretty much working out exactly how I was thinking about it that it would. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really really happy with that, guys. All right, so the next step I think is going to be to uh, measure the center sections right here and get it all lined up, and then I can uh, I can cut a piece for the center right here to kind of strengthen it up a little bit. I'll cut, cut a little top piece for it right here. Uh, just kind of get it and see one once again kind of how it's going to work out before I do it. But uh, I'm, I'm liking it a lot right here like this. All right, guys. So now that I got this cut out right here, I'm going to be... Uh, putting these cross supports in here to see how it uh, holds up. All right, guys, so I think we just about got this right here. We're gonna set this in here and kind of see how it's uh, gonna be looking here. All right, so that's in the way. <laughs> so we will make sure we don't put a cross brace right there. Um, but other than that, I think we're gonna be pretty good on this right here, guys. So that's gonna go right into there, like so. I'll have to bring the uh, this up just a tad right here. All right, guys, so uh, now that I have uh, the console mocked up a little bit out of cardboard, um, in order to really make sure that it's gonna fit nicely in there, I am gonna need to take out my radio that I have mounted underneath my dash uh, in the inside of the car right here. Um, so in order to do that, uh, I'm gonna first disconnect the negative battery cable, and then I'll hop in there and start uh, taking out the, uh, the old radio so we can uh, put this a little bit further up underneath the dash, make sure it fits good. Uh, and then we can uh, start playing with a little bit more where we're going to put the cup holders, get an idea of how it's going to uh, how it's going to work in there. So uh, let's uh, get started on that. All right, guys. So uh, here's my negative battery cable. I'm going to be disconnecting this right here to make sure that there's no power going to the uh, radio wires when I'm disconnecting everything here. Uh, now, uh, just to let you know, these are pretty cool uh, battery uh, connectors right here. You can get them at most auto stores. Um, they are uh, gold plated, I believe. Um, but the cool thing is, is you, you know, besides having your main point up here that anchors to your battery post, um, the cables are held down by these screws, which you can loosen with an Allen key, which is, which is pretty nice. So you don't have to take off the whole thing right there. Um, I've had it in the past where when I go to take these off right here, um, it'll strip it out or it'll mess up the connection up here. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with these. I've had these on here for a little while. So um, if you look, if you're constantly kind of taking off battery cables and everything like that, uh, th these are these are kind of nice. Uh, you may want to look into them. So let's see how this uh, fits in here now and uh, fits underneath the dash here. All right, guys, so uh, now that I have the under dash uh, stereo out of here, now I can really kind of see how this is going to fit in here. Um, this support is going to have to come out uh, right here, or this uh, this brace piece for the, for the console will have to come out right here. Uh, and then what I'm going to have to do I think is I may have to lengthen it maybe like an inch or two. We'll see. I'm going to have to slide this up forward because the way that it is right now is I want a uh, boot to kind of sit around this right here. Uh, if I have a uh, boot around this in the console, it's going to hit right here and I want this piece to come down kind of all the way. So I'm going to have to move this forward and see how much further I have to push it forward uh, to get it to kind of where I want it. So. 
Uh, once I get that how I want it, uh, then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just add maybe like a couple inches to the back right here to, and maybe just kind of move this back a little bit when I design, when I do the actual uh, real design. All right, guys. Uh, so we got the uh, we got the center console extended a little bit right here in the middle. I, sl I slid this back, slid that forward a little bit. Um, so now I, I'll have a full panel right here that I can put either a radio or gauges. Um, I do have my sniper EFI system. I was thinking about putting that into there uh, so I can keep an eye on it a little bit easier. Um, and then uh, this area will be the little shifter boot area. And then back here, we'll do a couple cup holders. Uh, and then of course, back in here will be the, the main you know armrest right here where you can have a little bit of storage in here. So um, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, this is where we're gonna end this video uh, right here, but uh, please, uh, yeah, definitely you know drop some comments. Let me know what you think about how this is gonna work, if, if I should tweak it a little bit. Uh, definitely open some suggestions right here, but uh, interested to see what you guys uh, have to say on it. Um, so uh, again, this is where we're going to end off in this video. Uh, we'll pick up next week on it, uh, and we're going to be uh, tracing this out on the uh, on the plywood and getting it cut out and get it, uh, get working on that right here. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so thank you very much for watching this uh, part one of the center console build. And if you have not already, uh, please make sure you uh, give the video a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It uh, greatly helps out, and we'll see you on the next one.